In this video, we'll show you how to create users in bulk using the CSV import feature. Navigate to the Manage Users page. Under the Actions menu, click Import Users. Pay attention to the user creation limits in your account. This is where you'll upload the CSV file with your list of users. But first, download the sample file to understand how to structure your own CSV file. Here's a few important things to keep in mind. Your CSV file must include, at minimum, all three of the following mandatory fields. First name, email address, and role. For the first name field, the only accepted special characters are commas, periods, and hyphens. The email addresses must be unique, in the correct format, and part of the allowed domains for your account. The roles must be in the correct format with the underscore as shown here. If you leave out the user type field, regular users will be created by default. To create mobile users instead, include the user type column and enter the value 1 or simply enter mobile. You can also include custom user fields in your account. Just be sure that your input matches the field's data type. You can check that by navigating to Settings, Users, and Permissions user fields, and you'll see them here. Here's our example file containing all the mandatory fields and a few others. Let's go ahead and import it. The next step is to map all the fields in the CSV file to the corresponding fields in your Lead Squared account. Most fields are auto-mapped, but you can change the mapping manually and map any unmapped fields. In this step, select the checkbox if you don't want to send the invitation email to the users. The validation report here shows errors that were detected. Only basic validations for mandatory fields, email address, format, etc. are done here. Detailed validations are processed later. If there are errors, download the file here and correct the erroneous rows with the help of the validation columns. Once your import request is submitted, you can check the request history to check its status. Once complete, you'll also receive an email with details on the number of users created and validation errors for the users that failed to import. Congratulations! You just completed your first user import.